Hey, Jack, I don't quite know what happened back at the tuck shop. I'm, but look, if I've given you the wrong impression regarding Pam in any way, I'm sorry, okay? I have nothing but the best intentions mm -hmm. with Pam. And I, I just, actually, there's something in the suitcase here that I'm planning on giving her that I think um, symbolizes the level of my commitment uh, to her. And I wouldn't feel right asking her to wear it without her father's permission. Jack. Did you flush this toilet? Maybe, you know what? Maybe Jinx flushed it. I saw a little Jinxie come in last night, um, and he took a little squatted, relieved himself. Jinx knows not to use that toilet. And even if he did, he'd never flush it. What does it matter? The matter, Greg R.N., is that when this toilet is flushed, it runs. And when you have a septic tank that's nearly full and a toilet that's been running all night, then you could have a hell of a problem. Mr. Burns. Nice stench. You're really on a roll there, bud. Bite me, Penny. Now, you listen to me. In 20 hours, I'm having a wedding here, so I need my cesspool pump now. Not tomorrow, now. Dad, what's going on? Oh, my God. Yeah. It's that smell. That smell, Bob, is our shit. Fokker flushed the toilet in the den, so the septic tank is overflowing. Jack, I told you, it wasn't me. It was Jinx. Fokker, I'm not gonna tell you again. Jinx cannot flush the toilet. He's a cat, for Christ's sakes! The animal doesn't even have thumbs, Fokker. Hey, look at this! Kevo, over by the tree, right? <laughs> nope. 